all right hello youtube today we're gonna be talking about the new Penacony characters that honkai star Rail just dropped on us during the 1.6 live stream they showed a lot off i'm assuming all of these characters are gonna be in the 2.x series or at least make their appearance somehow if they're not playable so that means they're either gonna be 2.0 2.1 2.2 2.3 i'm not sure yet i just want to give my thoughts and feedback on all the characters they showed off because it is quite a lot and i also have some little theories and lore and tidbits that i want to throw into the pot as well uh let me know your thoughts on any of these theories that i have for these characters if you think it could be plausible that what i'm saying is true about said character or if you think it's just pure copium i'd love to hear your thoughts about that but quickly jumping into the first character we have here sunday sunday was the host of this whole uh, uh, the little last bit portion for showing off these characters uh and he looks kind of angelic right kind of like an angel well you know what there are apparently other days as well so what if there's not just a sunday what if there's also a monday tuesday wednesday thursday so on and so forth yes so since he's sunday sunday he's leo representing the sun archangel michael here what if he's not the only one and you can kind of tell with his aesthetics as well no that he seems kind of like angelic let me know your thoughts down below if we'll see more of him uh similarities to him and speaking of similarities moving on to the first character we have here robin if you look at her hair right here you see these like these wings he has it as well sunday has it too robin has it now they did mention on the live stream that robin is sunday's sister so of course there's gonna be some similarities there but yeah first character we have is robin i don't really have too much to say on her besides what i've already said we have Misha. They showed Misha off on the Honkai Star Rail official Twitter account a couple of days ago. I made some YouTube shorts about it, TikToks and stuff like that. Uh, talking. He is a four star ice destruction, which I feel like he's a little overshadowed now because we already have a five star ice destruction, AKA Jing Liu. So I feel like they did my man dirty right there, you know? I feel like they gave him the Yen Ching treatment. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about him if you guys are excited for Misha or not moving on we have firefly i'm not I, I don't have much else to say about firefly i made some copium theories on like what element and path she could be maybe i'll mention it at the end of this video uh we have firefly here we also have gallagher which uh, a couple of people from my twitch stream mentioned that he could be like the walt proxy and honkai star or something i don't know sounds copium to me we already have walt he retained all his memories from like the other universes in honkai right I, I i'm not gonna try and pretend like i can dive into honkai lore and know what i'm talking about but all i know is apparently the walt that we see here is apparently the walt from other universes and he has retained his own memories and oh parallel universes and stuff man it gets crazy crazy but we got gallagher all right we got gallagher chad security of the bloodhound family and now it starts getting interesting because we got duke inferno and if you see the symbol above his head what does it see what does it remind you of it reminds you of the ash blazing grand duke artifact set he is literally the ash blazing grand duke artifact set with duke inferno as his name now i don't know if he's going to be a playable character or not but it would be kind of sick if he was a playable character because now he technically has his own artifact set right and if he was playable maybe this is his best in slot that might be obvious to say right so it could be a follow-up attack damage dealer we'll have to see in the future it could be kind of something similar to uh he could he could also die i don't know he could also get the uh the cacolia treatment I'll, I'll go more into detail on that in just a brief moment here because if you take a look at black swans drip marketing that they showed off and pay attention to what's above her you can see what is this what is that a skull right what does it look familiar to though duke inferno what if that is foreshadowing saying that we already killed him somehow black swan already killed duke inferno or maybe black swan killed duke inferno once and the duke inferno we see again is going to be some kind of boss fight right some kind of boss fight and he got revived when he got killed the first time like a phoenix or something this could, I'm, i might be losing a lot of you right now <laughs> all right and then we have to fight him and then upon killing him like we did Kakolia, that is when the trailblazer gets a new element i don't know 
tell me your thoughts. Tell me your thoughts if, if you think that's Copium or not. I just thought I'd throw that in there just to get some people's heads spinning and twirling. Uh, finishing with Black Swan. We, we already saw her during the live stream. She is the quote unquote memo keeper of the Garden of Recollection. She was also the narrator in one of the HSR trailers where they were discussing all the eons in Honkai Star. So I'm going to assume that she's going to be very important and maybe even as broken as Ruan Mei, because Ruan Mei was broken in the Sim universe. Her status kind of indicated that she was going to be broken. And lo and behold, she is a broken character in Honkai Star. Oil. So because of Black Swan's status, I'm going to assume that she also has to be OP in some way. So I'm definitely looking forward to her. We have Sparkle, which I thought she was going to be a fire character with all the fireworks and red and all the aesthetics. But no, I think they said she was a quantum, right? A quantum harmony character. So kind of out of left field here. Don't have much to say about Sparkle. Let me know what you guys think. That's Miss Sparkle. We have Sam. Okay, so Sam is a Stellaron Hunter. I think in the background, is that Blade? You can see Blade back there in the back. Is, that has to be Blade, right? I don't know. Who is that, bro? Who's helping Sam out right there? Is that, is that, is that the cat? Elio? Is that the cat? I don't know. Well, we got Sam. He's a Stellaron Hunter. So far, we've only had uh, Blade, Kafka, and SW. So that's what three other Stellaron Hunters. This is the fourth Stellaron Hunter we've had. He's going to be very important, no doubt. So I'm definitely excited for him. Uh, we have Acheron here. And after they showed off this image here, a lot of people were saying it looks like Zila from behind. And I'm not going to lie. It, it, it kind of does look like Zila from behind. I can't get it out of my head now. I can't get out of the, the, the head and the hair looking exactly like her in different outfit. You know, I just can't. I don't know. If I ruin that image for you, I apologize. But... This is Acheron from the front, and that is Acheron from the back. She does kind of look like Zila from the back. I'll give it that, you know? I will. And then last but not least, we got Aventurine. So Aventurine, he is part of the 10, the 10 Stone Hearts, and he's part of that same, like, gem society, uh, kind of like Topaz as well. So I think that he will have synergy with Topaz. And there's also a little secret that I want to show you. If you take a look at the light cone, trend of the universal market. I thought this was going to be for Topaz originally, but no. She was a hunt character, not a preservation character. However, who is this in the... Who is that? Who is that on the right side? You see that? Peeking through. With a heart on the chest. Choker for the belt, the glasses, the top hat. Why, why? Whoa, 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 whoa. Look, look who it is. It's Aventurine, or Aventurine. What if Aventurine is the actual preservation character and Horioverse debated us into making me think that it was Topaz? So I personally think that Aventurine is going to be like some wind preservation character, maybe because of the aesthetics and Aventurine is supposed to be like a green gem. Uh, and Topaz was, I mean, I guess more like to fire, but whatever. Uh, I'm hoping that there might be some synergy with Aventurine and Topaz because I do think they, I mean, obviously they work together, but I don't know how close they actually are in the gem society, if they hate each other or not. Uh, you guys can fill me in on the lore for that one, but we'll see, right? That's going to be my prediction, my oddball of being thrown out there. Another prediction I want to make really quick before I wrap this video up. When I looked at the official Honkai Star Rail Twitter account, they posted two different posts here, right? talking about you can win stellar jades if you follow their account and select one of the icons and submit it as like a little contest on twitter no look at how they posted it so they posted misha robin gallagher and uh firefly four of them and then they posted five sparkle black swan acheron sam and aventurine where is duke inferno he wasn't they didn't post him why didn't Duke Inferno get posted? Does it go back to my theory of maybe he's not going to be playable? Maybe he's going to be a boss fight, like I said. Maybe we end up killing him like this is foreshadowing Black Swan showing it. Maybe because he's a relic set, it's kind of like taking a page out of Genshin where relic sets are just of other characters who died or something. I don't know how true that is, actually. Don't quote me on that. But <gasps> what if Duke Inferno doesn't become playable and he's going to be a killed off character that we have to fight like Ecolia? Could very well happen. I also want to throw in this really quick. 
Aventurine, giving his status, being a Gem Society member, and Topaz being a five star, no doubt he's gonna be a five star, right? No doubt. Sam, a Stellar on Hunter, and all the other Stellar on Hunters, Blade, Kafka, and SW are also five stars. He's most likely gonna be a five star. No? Black Swan, they've already teased her on Twitter, the official Twitter account. She's a five star. Sparkle, official five star. And Acheron, giving, given her vibes and how they teased her, I'm pretty sure she'll be a five star too. You know? So they showed off five of these characters, and coincidentally enough, they're all five stars. So who are these? Misha, we already know, is a four star. They confirmed that on Twitter. What if Robin, Gallagher, and Firefly? are the four stars for the update for Penacone, and these are the five stars. That's my copium theory. That's my, you know, I just want a beer to say, here it is, I told you so, if it comes true. It's just a theory at the end of the day, so I don't know how true or real this is gonna be, but I think these are gonna be the five stars. These are gonna be the four stars. I feel like Aventurine is gonna be a preservation win character and have synergy with Topaz because of this light cone and him hiding in it. Uh, and I think that's pretty much it, man. I think that is pretty much it. I think Duke Inferno is not going to be playable and he's going to be a boss fight because of this and because they didn't even show off his image at all, you know, out of all the other characters. They could have easily squeezed him in with a five stack right there and a five stack right here. Who knows? Okay, it could be because it's just host team and guest team and I, I might be overthinking this, you know, but I'm, I'm trying to read between the lines right now. Let me know your thoughts down below. That's basically going to be the entire video. Me just talking about what I wanted to mention I, I talked about this a lot during the live stream uh on my twitch channel i just wanted to make a youtube video and just collect your thoughts on what you think about these characters sunday especially is going to be the most suspicious character there is and i'm hoping that we get more information about him sooner than later uh but yeah that is everything Penacone. let me know which character you guys are most excited for down below in the comments section me personally i am definitely looking forward to sunday First and foremost, Black Swan, second, Acheron, and I gotta say Aventurine, you know? Something about Aventurine and green kinda, kinda flows with me. But thank you guys very much for watching. I'll be making more videos talking about Penacone and all the other 1.6 updates and, and stuff to come. So make sure you guys are subscribed for that. And I will catch you guys in the next one.